All right, what's going on, guys? I'm making this video for my friend Ryan. He's just now getting into uh, sourcing, but I'm also making it so I can have in the future. So, looking at a keep it chart, I'm actually going to open up Snapchat or something. Where the hell is it? All right, there it is. All right. So this this is a sales rank line right here. That that green line that's going at a forty five degree. That's a bad sign whenever you see that. And this is over the course of three months. But what that means is the sales rank's getting higher and higher and higher. It's all the way up to twenty million now. This book probably never sold in Amazon history. We could look at it. That's actually for a year. My bad. Uh, I see it's selected for a year now. This is just a frozen picture, so I can't interact with it. But I can draw on it. So. Whenever you see the sales rank, whenever it drops down like that, that means it, that's a sale. So what you're going to see a sales rank every time that there's a spike, that's a sale. So whenever we see that, that's good. So hold on, let me. Uh, I have a list of different examples. So the classic textbook example, which is always good, and I always recommend whenever you look at uh, keep a chart. Let's go ahead and get this. Keep it in the bottom left-hand corner. You see that plus sign? That's what we're going to click on. And I always recommend looking at a year, year's worth, not a, not three months. For some reason, that's the norm. Go ahead and click on a year. So there's a lot of jumbo here. We can select these and deselect new, deselect Amazon. All we care about right now is sales rank. We don't care about the price. So as you can see, there's lots of spikes, lots of going up and lots of going down. Sales rank is constantly fluctuating. Um, this is a classic textbook example because we can see whenever the sales rank drops, that's good. Here in January, it drops close to 1,000 at some, some points. Off season, it goes really high. So this is uh, when the price is going to drop whenever the sales rank goes up. Now I'm going to select used price right here so this is really all you ever care about is a used in uh, sales rank you don't I, there are scenarios where you care about amazon's price because you always want to price below them and the new price but generally speaking you want to care about these two things uh used in uh, sales rank so we see an inverse relationship going on here the black line goes up which is the used price see right here this is a price going up and down so it goes all the way up to this scale goes all the way up to 250 and um, we can see that during textbook season towards the end it, this price jumps all the way up to $200 now it's gonna drop in the off season when they start getting restocked at a crazy rate there's it's just simple supply demand it's an inverse relationship so that, that this is the um, textbook textbook um, chart so that this is good when you see that and it's really good for online arbitrage because you can buy low sell high now the next example i have is a false high price but it's still good and you'll run into this a lot you'll get really excited it'll turn green let's see here so okay so it says the low price is 240 and there's there's a lot of offers and um the low FBA offers two. I think that's actually me two forty five one. I've been trying to change it to two fifty for a while. Anyway, uh, oh, and side note, E score is how many times it sold in the last hundred and eighty days. So it sold four times. Got a one point six million uh, rank. So this this is a decent book. Um, anything over a million is kind of getting up there, but it, a million generally has like about ten sales a year. I think I don't I don't know the exact math. Anyway, let's get this keep a chart. So this is a. This is a, what did I, what did I call it? A false high price, but still good. So right now it looks like it's approaching infinity. This is terrible when you see this, whenever it's slowly creeping up like that. And I'm not even going to deselect the new, you guys don't pay attention to the blue line. Um, but if we look at it for a year, let's zoom out. Um, okay. So there's a black line right here. It was getting a lot of sales around 150, got a lot at 95, all these green spikes, that means it was selling at that time. However, when it jumps up to 400, it, it didn't get a sale there. It got a sale. It probably got a sale right when it dropped, right? It's hard to pinpoint it. It dropped really low at some point, it dropped to about, I don't know, 70 bucks. I can't even get it on there but anyway it probably sold when it dropped and then it hasn't sold since so it hasn't 
sold at this ridiculous price. And it's slowly creeping back down. And recently it just sold, like the other day. This textbook season right now. I'm making this video in August. It sold right around 200 or 150 it looks like. So that's what I'm going to change the price at. I don't know why I'm listed at 250 I've tried updating it twice. Um, anyway, so this is an example of um, a false high price. So um, what you'll see is sales ranks creeping up, creeping away, and the black line is way too high up. Um, so you, what, what you're going to do in this case is get the book and just list it for a lower price. List it for the price that it was selling at before. 86 95 somewhere in there now the last example i'm going to give you is a dud most of the time you can tell a dud just based on the sales rank but there are also scenarios where it'll, it might just be like a 1 million rank book but it could just it could be a dud at a one or even like a seven hundred thousand. um so let's look at this keep a chart so again whenever you see it just creeping up like that we don't care about amazon amazon's hogging up this graph So you can see a lot of funky stuff happening here. Um, this line, let's let's do all time. Let's see if it's ever sold. It's never sold once. There's not one spike. You see that? It, it went from 18 million. <laughs> this book started out at, I don't even know how I got a rank to start out with. A book's not supposed to have a rank unless it's sold. So it may, it may have sold at one point. Um, that's why you don't buy a book without a rank. It means it's never sold. So this is just approaching infinity. Um, the the price fluctuations, they're just changing just because repricers are going haywire. But this is a bad book. And it's a 20 million rank book, so I wouldn't even look at the Keepa chart. But look at the Keepa graph. And if you see a 700,000 rank book that looks like this, like don't buy it. Um, sometimes weird stuff happens. So those are three scenarios. I mean, generally speaking, you're safe when there's lots of spikes. Um, that's what you're looking for. You want to see boom, 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 boom. That's good stuff. Also, uh, something else that might happen is, you know, a 3 million ranked book over the course of a year might go down one time. Got to be careful with that. Are you really going to want to buy a book that only sells once a year? Um, let me see if there's any other scenarios I can think of. I mean, just with the textbook example, be aware of what time you're scanning for the textbook because you might be scanning when the textbook is really, really cheap, you know, in the off season. And it, it, there might be a price spike. Let's change this to uh, black. Let's do, make the – so let's say this is a sales rank textbook season and it goes up and then boom, boom, boom again. If you're scanning, there's going to be an inverse relationship, right? So this, the price is going to drop in summer and the price is going to rise during uh, spring and fall semester. It's a mess. But so anyway, price is really high right here because all the kids are buying the books. So if you're scanning and you see, oh, this book's only going for five bucks, still get it. Because if you look, if you look at the graph and you see that it's selling for a hundred during uh, textbook season, that's probably that's that's a huge example, huge fluctuation. But there are fluctuations that big, but it's more likely to be like thirty or fifty. So it goes from five to thirty or fifty, or maybe it goes from thirty to fifty to uh, one hundred and fifty. Anyway, that's about it. That's all I got. Um, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Peace out. How do I close this? Uh oh, this is awkward now.